This Shell Oil Company installation could either represent the U.S. energy future or be a costly fiasco. Shell hopes to drill down into shale rock. It looks like this. It contains a chemical called kerogen, which can be subjected to high heat to produce oil. Past efforts by other oil companies to dig out and process shale failed when the price of crude oil dropped dramatically in May 1982. Prices are now at record high levels, and Shell spokesman Tracy Boyd says the company has developed a process for extracting the oil without digging out the shale. We're taking the heat right into the oil shale formation and converting the organic material that's there called kerogen into a producible liquid hydrocarbon. At the Shell Mahogany Research Project in the Piance Basin, workers have surrounded a section of shale with a freeze wall. They pump cold ammonia through pipes around the site. This technique has long been used in building construction to keep water out of foundation pits. And at the Shell Project site, it also prevents oil from escaping into nearby groundwater. At the Colorado School of Mines, Jeremy Boak serves as project manager for the state's Energy Research Institute. He says Shell's ambitious experiment could pay off but the company faces great challenges. The reserves are very large. The potential to build them up is perhaps less in that it takes a good deal more work to get the oil out of the ground. Um, you you're essentially cooking a rock that isn't quite ready to produce oil yet. He says one of the biggest problems is the enormous amount of electricity needed to heat the shale and the carbon dioxide electric power plants would emit. This is also a principal concern for environmentalists like Elise Jones, executive director of the Colorado Environmental Coalition in Denver. How can we embark on a new energy source that has enormous, enormous greenhouse gas emissions to produce the oil shale and then to use the oil shale? Jones says environmentalists do not oppose all energy projects, but they are concerned that a rush to develop resources like shale could endanger the state's natural beauty, as well as its air and water. We have drills popping up like mushrooms across the west slope of the, of the state. So we're doing our part, but the notion of imposing on top of that another overlay of industrialization on the landscape, that's, that's asking a lot. But Shell's Tracy Boyd says his company is moving cautiously, trying to determine how to get the oil out of the shale without damaging the environment. I think the answer to that remains to be seen, and that's why we're involved with research and development on a slow and methodical scale so that we can resolve and answer all of those questions. And the company says it could take 20 years to begin extracting significant amounts of oil from this area's shale rock. In the meantime, both investors and environmentalists will be watching them closely.